Uh, thank you, John. I'm very pleased to be marking the 30th anniversary of the, uh, the Teaching Academy. To me, the Teaching Academy is all the things that Jim Taylor and, and Steve uh, Ackerman have said already, and so many of us believe in that and try to practice that. But the most important function of the Teaching Academy, as far as I'm concerned, is that it's a forum for sharing, for discussing, for agreeing, for disagreeing, for developing harmony, for allowing for dissonance to take place in the scholarly activities that we all engage in at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. So as I was saying, <clears throat> perhaps there's someone watching and listening who doesn't like what I'm saying. That's why I got disconnected, who knows? Uh, seriously, <clears throat> my own commitment is to uh, classroom teaching, and outside the classroom teaching. My own commitment goes way back to the time of my appointment here that started in 1970. In 1977, I was the founding director of the UW System Undergraduate Teaching Improvement Council, which still exists now uh, in the UW System Administration as the Office of Professional Development and Improvement. But I don't want to really spend any more time uh, staring in the rearview mirror. I want to talk about the present and I want to talk about the future. Our heritage is very rich and it is empowering. But what makes a difference is the action that we take now. So I'm very, very pleased that the conversations continue. I wish everyone on campus were participating in, in this. Let me just state that I consider teaching to be a privilege. Of course, we're talking about teaching and learning, but everybody can learn. Everybody should learn. Uh, sometimes learning takes place despite the teacher, but teaching is a privilege. And as such, we are privileged individuals who have awesome responsibilities, not only to the people that are in our classrooms, but to the people who are outside the classroom. And that's why I emphasize public engagement. I know we talk about outreach. I think outreach is passe. Outreach implies, oh, I'm reaching out to you. I'm doing you a favor. I may want to do it. I may not want to do it. We can discuss that, but not, not right now. Public engagement has a different ring to it. I'm listening to you. I'm participating in the conversation. I'm participating in the process. I disagree with you. I want to learn more from you. So I am a strong advocate of public engagement. And I want all of us to truly live the Wisconsin idea in the 21st century. Yes, we're proud of glancing in the rear view mirror about what the Wisconsin idea has been. But I think we should look forward. Besides, the windshield is bigger than the rear view mirror. So let's all look forward and act responsibly with all the individuals that we are in contact with in the classroom and outside the classroom. It is it is important that we develop a full understanding of who we are as a university, what we stand for, what our role is, and where we're gonna be. If we don't know who we are and what we stand for, the likelihood of getting any place, we don't know, the likelihood is, 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 is very, very small. So I am a great advocate of scholarly activities that relate to advancing knowledge and serving society. That's what we do research for, to advance knowledge. But that's not enough by itself. Advancing knowledge satisfies our curiosity. That's why we do research. We want to know answers to questions that we've been thinking about for a long time. But we have an equally important responsibility, I'd say a bigger responsibility of sharing the knowledge that we have acquired and sharing it in ways that are effective at the receiving end. So basically, this is a brief statement that I wanted to share with you on the anniversary of the Teaching Academy. And I'll just say, that teaching is important, but learning is a heck of a lot more important.
Thank you very much. All right.